What's up, what's up, what's up? How we doing? What's good, folks? How is life? Let's go ahead and start a timer for Jeopardy. I feel like this, uh, this song is too quiet. I feel like Chill Step is too chill and I'm too sleepy. I got that post-lunch sleepiness. And I think we need hi-fi. I think I'm going back to hi-fi. I just, I love the high five. I love it. I'm into it. I've spent the past three minutes looking for the controller for today's game. Uh, because I had I had to bring Nora here last week because she was sick. And uh, I wound up finding it. But she had taken it and hidden it somewhere. I don't know why three-year-olds do that. But they do. They hide things. What's up, sneaky pigs? Thanks for being first. And welcome Marco the God, a very new follower. Followed right before we went live there. Crank out the bloopy jams just a little bit. So I know one thing I'm gonna do whenever we get started with Hi-Fi Rush, trying to play games, yeah, that's it. Literally and metaphorically. She wants to literally play video games with me and she also wants to uh, make me look. She makes me, she actually is hardcore right now in a playful personality wanting to play. And uh, 
uh, the thing that I, it's driving us up a wall is she does this pretending that she can't find something game. And so like, she'll have like, it'll be like, okay, here's the controller, right? And the controller will be like right here in front of her. And she'll be like, where's the controller? I can't find it anywhere. Where could it be? And she's like, obvious. She knows where it is and is hamming it up and thinks it's a fun game. It's so strange. It's her new favorite game. What's up, H-Man? How we doing? RP the G starts tomorrow. VAUMC.org slash RP the G. Role play the gospel. H-Man's uh, baby project starts tomorrow officially with Ash Wednesday. Um, we're going to be doing something for Ash Wednesday here at Checkpoint that I'll talk about here in a moment. I don't have any graphics built because we literally just decided to do it, but... That'll be coming up in the near future. So hopefully start something a little bit more consistently for Ash Wednesday in the future. But last week was supposed to be my week to plan for Ash Wednesday. And then everything happened. All the things happened. By the way, I have a new monitor and I'm loving it. I've been using a TV monitor from my mother's attic for this monitor right here. And now I have a nice new Samsung Curve. And it matches this one. So I already had a Samsung Curve. Now I have two Samsung Curves. And it is so nice. This is living. A little sore. I had a spill down the stairs. Oh my goodness. H-Man, are you okay? You said you're good at the beginning, so I'm going to assume that you mean you're also good with your spill. Goodness gracious. That's, that's, that's quite, that's quite a lot. I just opened up Humble. No, I didn't mean to. My bad. Movie, movie, game. What's up, Zando? Okay, Zando, here is your movie, movie, game prompt. Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew in a high school with Batman villain as a hunky love interest, who also turns around a struggling television station with hit programs like Conan the Librarian and Wheel of Fish. It's a good one. It's really good. That is really good. <laughs> Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew in a, you didn't even need it again. <laughs> yes, I know. It is 10 Things I Hate About UHF. Chat's in the cloud. That's so good. That sounds really painful, H-Man. Those wooden steps. I'm assuming wooden steps. Otherwise, you just really messed up with your socks on carpet and still slipped. That's a feat in of itself. <laughs> a feat. A feat. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're okay. That is, that is traumatic. All right, we've got our Jeopardy prompts for today. We're going to do two as we have been doing, as we are wont to do right now. For those of you that have never done uh, Jeopardy with us before, it is first come, first serve. You do not have to ask in the form of a question. If you do, then you do. Your lack of a target trip is delaying my gotcha redemption. <laughs> for a second there, I was like, why? And then I remembered because you lost them. You lost those pointeroonies, those checkpoints. All right. Um, first prompt is double jeopardy, so it's worth the full 2K. What's up, Stained? Stained Glass is here. What's good? Hey, Stained, we're going to do something fun for you here in just a second. Uh, they're actually both double jeopardy, so we got two 2Ks in a row. Two 2Ks in a row. Um, first category is Supreme Court Cases for 2K. The answer, 1974, ruling that executive privilege has its limits. United States versus this man. The answer, 1974, ruling that executive privilege has its limits. United States versus this man. Am I loud enough? I keep seeing my volume and it's not going as high as it normally does. Crank the gain a little bit. Uh, let's see, who was first? Zando, that is correct. It is Nixon. All right. 
Second and final prompt, again, worth the full 2K Double Jeopardy Supreme Court cases. The answer, 1967. On interracial marriage, this appropriately named couple versus Virginia. 1967. Look at that, H-Man. I was gonna, I didn't get a chance to read it again. H-Man, <laughs> chat's in the clap for a quick, quick response. It is loving. H-Man bringing in those full 2K points. Not enough to bring you into third place, but close. Not enough, but close. Our leaderboard for Jeopardy as it currently stands is Zando in first with 12K, 800 points. Second place, uh, Sneaky Pigs with 6,400 points. And in third, maybe 30 bats with 4,000 points. H-Man, you're close behind. Close, close, close behind. Your boy is a Virginia resident. Well, there you go. Loving the Virginia. I would have never known. That's a, I didn't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know countries and I don't know court cases. My um, lurking C cam, appreciate you. Uh, my dad texted me. So for those of you that don't know, Christina goes to my dad's church as well as going to checkpoint. And, um, I get a text from my dad on Sunday and it says, so I heard you don't know a single country in Africa. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know a single one. I still couldn't tell you. I've had a month to process this and I still don't know any of them. People have told me a bunch of them and I, I don't know. I don't have any idea. And he just sent back the crying laughing face. So apparently Christina saw him on Sunday and told him. Told him that I didn't know. So thanks everybody. My dad's disappointed in me now. I don't know if he knows any of the countries in Africa either. He clearly didn't teach them to me. Zinger, Bazinga, got him. Stained, are you still in here? I have no idea what's going on. Just got hit with a bunch of ads. Holy moly, no. Whoa. 30 minutes of ads is obviously a problem. Hang on, let me see what I can do. Okay, maybe I'm just reading it wrong. Hopefully I'm reading it wrong. I'm glad to hear that you didn't get 30 minutes. How many minutes? How weird. So it says pre-roll off for 30 minutes. I'm trying to do this new thing with ads and trying to get it set up. And uh, it's not it's not happy with what I'm doing. So I have disabled pre-roll ads, but I have it turned on for mid-rolls. The spacing is currently every 30 minutes, which equals out to three minutes of ads an hour. Pre-rolls are disabled. The ad length is a minute and a half, and the start delay, it shouldn't even start until 10 minutes in. And it's supposed to show up on my screen. I'm so, I'm so uh, perplexed. Okay. Yeah, 30 minutes is, is indeed an infomercial. That's so strange. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying something new. I'm really, I'm wanting to make it so that people can get less ads at different increments. Stained glass rebel with 15 months. That's where the motto comes from, a Virginia is for lovers. For, for a loving the Virginia. I didn't know that. I'm learning all sorts of things. Sub has been wonky. Hey, that's all right. We're glad you're here. Hey, everybody help me do something for Stained Glass right now um, because I don't know if Stained will be back on before next Monday. Um, Stained is going before the Board of Ordain Ministry to be approved for commissioning 
uh, in six days on the 27th. And so what I want everybody to do is a good, a good practice typically is to place hands on somebody whenever you want to bless them. But we don't really have the ability to do that since we are, um, since we are all obviously online. So instead, can you do the raised hands emoji? Raised hands, colon, you can copy and paste that or colon raised underscore hands in colon. And let's just pray over Stained because I know he's gonna be taking a digital sabbatical and I wanna make sure that we get to pray over him in this community. So let's let's pray. If you will, just lift your hands up and I'm gonna give a quick prayer for Stained. So do those raised hands emojis in the chat. Let's really encourage Stained in this moment. Go on before the board and we'll pray. Dear Holy God, we thank you for Shane. We thank you for his ministry, for his calling to the digital church, for this calling towards ordained ministry. We ask that you would help him during this time to ease his anxiety, to ease his stress, to ease his pressure. The papers have been written. The conversations are ready to be had. He knows what he knows, and he is here to do everything that he can in all the ways that he can for all the people that he can with the mission that you've laid before him in this life. God, I ask that you would bless his mind, his words, help him to be uh, quick to listen, slow to speak during those meetings, uh, to be able to bring his A game, but also to be able to do what you have equipped him specifically to do. God, bless the board, bless those who are coming before this and, and using their discernment in the this process, ask that you would give them the insight that they need to see the powerful work that Shane is doing. And we ask that your spirit be moving all throughout it. God, we thank you for Shane. We thank you for his ministry. Regardless of what happens on Monday, we know that you are in it, that you are here, and that you are working throughout it. So thank you again for this ministry. Thank you for the continuing church. And thank you for the reach of the spirit that we continue to see online. It's in your wonderful name that we pray and all God's children said, amen. Thank you, thank you. For those of you who prayed for Shane with me and for those who lifted up their hands. We love Stained, we love Shane. We're thankful for the ministry that you're doing. And uh, I know the stress. <laughs> I know the stress. So um, we're here for you. We're here for you, but obviously, Shane, but obviously if you gotta have a, if you gotta have a tech sabbatical, you gotta have it. But I wanted to get to you before you took your sabbatical. So I was glad to see you today. I wasn't sure if you would hop on today or not. But yes, we appreciate you. Shane Glass Rubble. Okay. So on Tuesdays, we do Variety Tuesday. And on our Variety Tuesday, on Tuesdays, I let the Discord pick what game, excuse me, what game we play. And so exclamation point Discord, if you want to be a part of that voting process. But this time they voted for the fourth option, which is a recommendation. And so uh, the the you just got you got blessed uh, you got blessed at the uh, oil change place. You got you got uh, blessed at the Meineke, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I think you might be the first person. Well, I don't know. I was gonna say you'd be the first person to have hands laid upon you at the at the at the Meineke. But you never know. Sometimes those places can be a little rough and tumble. Anointing oil. <laughs> ah, that's great. So anyway, the fourth option for our uh, uh, voter is to make a recommendation. Sneaky Pig's recommendation today was Hi-Fi Rush, which is a game that's been on my backlog forever um, since it came out because it, it did so well in the first couple days and it looks like my kind of my kind of style, my kind of steez. So we're gonna give it a shot. We'll play it for uh, the next couple hours and uh, enjoy some time in Hi-Fi Rush. Thanks for your alert, Sneaky. Hi-Fi Rush is so good. I have yet to see it, because I, I don't know if it's an interesting game to watch or not, but it was a game that I thought sounded so interesting that I should probably abstain from viewing it. So here we are. We're on the other end of things. Um, gonna, gonna see what this game has to offer us. And uh, we need to obviously turn off Spoofy. I'm gonna have to go into streamer mode because I'm sure that um, you're gonna love this. I'm excited for it. I love the art style just from a, a, a basic stance. Um, I'm here for it. I do need to turn off the, the licensed music, I'm sure. So we're gonna go into that right away. It's loading, it's loading, I promise. <laughs> up the full screen. Ayo. Good morning. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. 
I'm gonna go back to chat. It just keeps showing things. I've never had that just show up on Game Cap. Okay, when you see this mark, the game is autosaving. In Hi-Fi Rush, uh, timing, music and streamer mode still slaps, so that's fine. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think there's like nine inch nails or something in the uh, in the other mode, so. Okay, English, English, English. Gamma, let's see, I'm gonna probably play on this screen, so I should get it right. That feels about right. I didn't realize this game had normal music. I think so. Enabling streamer mode. Wow, look at that. It just it just picked up on it, huh? Wow. That's pretty neat. Oh, I thought it just autoed it on. That was uh, super cool. Uh, background for the subtitles? Nah. I like context subtitles. No, I'm okay without that. No need color button mode. Font size large for you guys. I thought it was all like made for the game music. No, I know. I feel like Nine Inch Nails. Is black. All right, let's just get into it. Uh, have a sense for rhythm, but not quite sure if you're action game still. As long as you stay on B, you should be able to come up against challenges. Come out on top, just in case. In this mode, auto action mode can be enabled. Can this be changed at any point? Right, we'll just go with normal. I ain't looking to be stressed today, you know. Plus, streaming is always tough. Comic book like snapping. Chai, huh? <laughs> is it? Yep. Like the Profession. Tea? Should I have had tea? Future rock star. Are you done? Uh, yes. Uh, whatever. Animation is so Here's good. Project, Similar to Arc System Works. And robots have so much personality on both. It's got a ton of personality yes. just from the art alone. The cell shading with like the, the outlines. It's even got the like polka dot style. That's super inspired. I could have read that though. Welcome, applicant, to Project Armstrong. Technology perfectly fused to the human body. Together, we create better lives. Do they all have drink names? Oh, that's Kale. Kale's not. I guess Kale could be a, a, a sweetie. What a historic day. You're the best of the best and about to be even better. Thanks Is it to loud enough for you guys? robot enhancements. Vandalay has always been about helping those in need. And you all in Bring Project Armstrong thing for sure. are about to show the world just how special you can become. He's got Ace Attorney villain vibes. Now go, get ready for a better life. I like the RoboCat. Uh, uh, I'm with him. Special pass here. Uh, I think they just called my name. I feel like I'm watching a movie.
promised me the best of the best, Mimosa. Production asked for test subjects, Kay. Marketing delivered. Don't pin it on Rekka! Tell that grandstander Zanzo in R&D We need people with influence. Is Rekka God drink? giving me... Losers! It'll work. It better. No slip-ups. My iPod. And no defects. I want my iPod back. What a piece of junk. <laughs> Oh, well, good timing. Bad timing. Bad timing. Never mind. Bad timing. Wrong timing. Oh, dear. Not the Rube Goldberg. Nice. Don't give up. You got the music in you. Literally. checkpoint you're here okay checkpoint that's me where's that ah uh, don't worry probably no big deal on twitch discord and youtube nice he's already running to the beat without me doing anything. was i supposed to talk to them oh dear my cleaning has caused an even greater mess your <laughs> jumping however was impressive thank you oh man that surgery drained me out Ah, not in the spot. Oh, even the machines are moving to the beat. That's very nice. Any sneaky secrets? Sneaky secrets? No. How do I get around? told you no more than ten boxes at once. Look at what you have done. Will the Z fighters manage sure to defeat Oh, gotcha, Bond. He opens a god chop bond. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Shai's just going to keep tempo while we get our gotcha bun. It's a Dragon Ball. How appropriate. How appropriate with the, with the reading. Love it. Woo. Yikes. One for one. Five star Dragon Ball for you, Zando. Dosmas. Dosmas Dragon Balls. Can I double jump? Can. I am gonna tell this gonna be okay. I have failed my duties. I will surely be fired. Or even worse, Rekka. Please collect your belongings. Yeah, time to get out of these clothes. Worst. Wow. <laughs> relatable, seriously. Ooh. A relatable protagonist, finally. Hey! All right, kid. Robotic arm, Alex does 75, magnetic waste management of fixture. Wait, magnetic waste management? Foreign object warning. Looks like a defect. Take him in. No. He has a scarf because of course he does. Exactly. Is that a weapon? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's resisting. <laughs> Wait, what? I 
make it a hammer? Oh, guitar. That makes so much more sense because it's a music game. Oh, boy. I've seen this opening so many times due to so many friends screaming it. Well, fortunately, I've, I've steered clear. Alright, wide attack and heavy attack. Trying to find the rhythm that it wants me to go with. Not good timing. Okay. What is going on? <sighs> My controller is vibrating. Could that be the rhythm? this right first Tony Stark music player in my chest pretty sure that's not supposed to be there second it's powering up my new robot arm third it's making everything sync up with the beat and this sounds ridiculous but when the music kicks in it feels like 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 I'm on a stage that's good. Thanks again for everything. Absolutely stained. Enjoy the rest of your oil change. And if we don't see you until next Tuesday, best of luck, best wishes. We'll keep praying for you. Take whatever time you need. All right, everyone. Ready for something wild? Yes. Whoa. Chai's here. Yeah, they spelled well right. Sync up with the music. You all want to see it in action? Let's start with a light attack. A one beat attack that quickly connects oh. combos. Go ahead, try it out. Now try a combo in beat to the music. This will be what- <laughs> that's, I thought that's what I did! Ooh, this is rough. That's that rough. All right, Let's all right. I think I'm going off the rhythm. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ooh, that is not on the rhythm. I gotta be like right before it. There's like a there's like a delay. Exactly on the beat to give bonuses in battle. Looks like you're ready for more. Head on over. Oh boy. No, I'd like to practice so much more. I'd like to practice so much more. I'll tap my foot, but I really think the issue is the controls. How about delivering some real damage? The heavy attack. The delay of the this actual controller or the music or something. So I am carefully. going through a lot of filters here. I got this. Try out a heavy combo and rhythm. Are you playing through a capture card? I am. Mine gives me about a quarter second delay, which makes this games like this really hard. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Sure, sure. Not bad for a rookie. Oh boy, I can't be counting out time signatures the entire time. Ooh, yeah. And the crowd goes wild. Try, try, try. Crowd goes mild. Is this the guy? Wow. Robots are great. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, um. Anyone see the guy that did this? That's the defect! Not defect. What is this? Fire Emblem all over again? Well, here we go. Pick them off.
It's hard to not mash. It's real hard not to mash. I just want to go into like Demon Souls mode and just spam click that X. No, did not like my finding again. I thought I did better that time. The world engages move to the beat. Use it for reference. Timing is key, so relax and feel the beat when playing. Look for this icon and hear the audience cheer to know when you attack or ride on beat. If you need some help identifying the beat, press the those for a constant image of where well, the beat is. Well, that was awesome. But I should probably get out of here. Hello, big boss. I like that. Production here. Here. And, and what's this I hear about a deep running wild and wreck a soul? Anyone sees this kid running around? Wreck a watch you to no defect gets out of production. Not on Wrecker's watch. Okay, clearly not someone I want to run into. I almost can't go with the music. I have to not go with the music. I think I'm okay. If you need help, don't hesitate to chat. Who's this? Got a worm? <laughs> Collect gears to upgrade Shai's abilities and purchase items. Find gears by searching the environment and by destroying enemies. I like the pulse bar, that's helping. Did you realize the developers came out and said they didn't realize how annoying the puzzle help was until after the re- I did hear that. That's the defect? That's suspicious. Oh, I love the cat. Looking for me? The best cat. Get him! Try and catch this. Get out of the way. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. It really is like a half second behind. You're you're like exactly right, safe point. I'm having to look at that bar. <laughs> Looking at the bar is helping. But still got a D. My goal now for the day is to get better than a D in just timing. And now what am I supposed to do? Good the cat. Hey! First cat. You all right? I'm sorry. Thanks, Thanks for helping, helping my, my cat. cat. Need a hand? Well, that's convenient. Looking to get out of here. Well, that, well, that might, might be something I can handle if you... Hey, yelling like this is awkward. Can you speed this up? Fine. Look, I hacked the access panel. Smack the switch and come up. It definitely requires pretty serious latency. For some reason, I thought those were going to bounce. Project Armstrong turned out to be a real bummer. I wanted a cool robot arm, not a target on my head. No, I don't need him. Tori Robot is creepy in the best way, for sure. Anyone who thinks of taking a break today is getting crushed. Baymax -esque. Hello, I'm here. Cat rescuer, you said you'd help out. 
Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Good, you made it. Down here. All right, so I'll keep this quick. Uh... I saw you fight back there. I think we might be able to the help metal each health other. Did it better. I thought... Security's all over you, which I could help you with. Stop. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love that they spell woke correctly. There? That that in and of itself is a 10 out of 10 game. No. This is 808. She is a cat, but I built her. Look, like I was saying... You know, I thought my music robot arm power was crazy, but this is... Um... Probably better off by myself. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> listen. Vandalay's up to something, and I said I can help... Thanks, but I'm good. <laughs> The art style for this is better, but Helsing has better music when you hit the beat. Yeah, for the song. yeah, you know, there's a chance, there's a chance, H Man, that this might too, and I'm just not doing it. <laughs> there's a good, there's a good possibility. No, it's not responding. What did you do? Oh, hold on, did you just feel that? That beat? I think we got something here. Look who's back. Andy's got a friend. Thanks to 808, Chai's got a new skill up his sleeve. A beat hit. It's a timing based bonus attack at the end of a combo. On the last hit, watch for the timing circle and press any attack button to land it. Okay. Tell me more. Talk is cheap. Let's try it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's awful, dude. That That's again. terrible. It's so off. Ah! That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, man. There's got to be a better way to sync these bad boys up. the two circles overlapping to nail perfect timing. Try a beat hit with your heavy combo. You're on your own with this one. That was three. Oh, I got to do them real fast. Oh, come on. I totally get why. This is awesome. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if I can do three hours of that. So don't forget to feel that. This might be a one hour demo, and then we'll play something else, and I'll do this one on my phone. When I could actually have the latency of my, like, direct headphones. I'm going to borrow your cap for a little bit. What? Why? Hey, you wanted to help, right? Don't worry, it's just till I get out of here. Uh, you better not run off with her. A little more secret secrets? There were. The other cat's name is 808. I really like it. I like the art style. I like the aesthetic. I'm enjoying the play style, except for the fact that it's not working for me. That's not a knock at all on what it is, though. That's just a knock on it. The reality of Bluetooth technology. Light game, nice. Cool thing about this game that even if you're off beat, the hit will always be on beat. So it eliminates the terrible feeling in most of the moves when you get off beat, right? The worst is if you get used to this and then you have to get readjusted when you play with better controls, right? I, I just gotta get out of my head. I gotta stop playing the music and just play the game. I mean, I'm hitting it perfect. I'm hitting it perfectly on me. <laughs> yeah, I gotta look. I'm only looking at the little cat on the bottom. And the issue with only looking at the cat on the bottom is that then I can't see the baddie. I have no idea where I need to be aiming.
D. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Well, that looks like all of them. Many things aren't so bad after all. No, they're okay. bad. Hey, remind me to ask you later how you did all that. Like I know. Anyway, your turn. I need to get out of wherever I am. You're in production, and the only direct exit is through quality assurance. You see it? So many buildings, it's hard to tell. It's the one that literally says QA Center on it. Oh, yeah, that one. But with that way out, they're probably expecting you, so... You had me at way out. Let's go. Okay, find, fight to the beat for a higher score. By constantly comboing, landing beat hits, and attacking the beat, you can raise your rhythm meter. Missed opportunity to call it a rhythm rhythmometer. Uh, the rhythm meter can go from a rank D to S. The higher the rank, the higher your score multiplier. Based off your performance during battle, you'll receive bonuses towards your final rank. Glad I picked normal, huh? Being cocky isn't going to get you out of here. Uh, the best solution is the most obvious. That's wrong and terrible advice. You're wanted. We need to outsmart them. Well, then I'll fight my way out. Are you an idiot? That's literally the opposite of outsmarting them. Oh, a note from Rekka. I don't care about it. I'm telling you, that was kale in the flesh. You don't even have flesh. You wouldn't know. Actually being in production, does that count that I met him? No, it doesn't. So get over it and let's fix this staircase. Nice, nice, nice. So who in the chat has actually played this game? I feel like everybody's played it by now. Reminder, to compensate for added Project Armstrong Club, so many a new day of the week was added. Please note on this additional day of the week, working is mandatory. I have about three hours. Gotcha, gotcha. Is that how long it is? How long is it? for days no 10 to 15 gotcha. whoopsie oh boy that was close thought they had me there for a second you are being watched my big brother uh oh uh oh On platformer? I think I found a shortcut. What? Yeah, sure. I wasn't expecting a random platformer element. All right. Oh, this campus is huge. It's more like a city. The perks of being the world's leading tech company. Vandalay likes I guess technically we already were a platformer, but, but I'm looking for what they're hiding. 2D platformer. Oh, you like digging up secrets. Oh. How about telling me your name? If it took you this long to ask, you can wait a bit longer. <laughs> I'm Chai, by the way. Chai? All right, then. I need all the points. Oops. 
Easy. No! Whoa. Wow. A lot of short guns around here. <laughs> He's about to die, huh? Oops. Oh, now we're back in the three. That's fun. I wasn't expecting the 2D platform. I don't know. I like it. I like it. I'm here for it. Easy secrets. Sneaky secrets to be found. Hmm. Yes, that's what I thought. More sneaky secrets anywhere. All the uh, all the double jumps make me want to play Crash. Yeah. It does have a Crash vibe. I was thinking Sonic too. It's got like a Sonic and a Crash vibe. It's definitely got that nostalgia Sonic like Sega activated. PlayStation. Don't touch the red lasers. Well, thank you. Obviously. Oh, I see. 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 I get the game. Okay, I understand. Well, I, I don't see. I didn't see him. I didn't see him that time. Oh boy, I didn't see him that time. All right, we're fine. Looks like they were all now. Hey, cool. What's that? I wouldn't touch that. That's it. Well, you're not dead. That's a plus. <laughs> of course, the I touched opposite, it. The opposite, actually. It feels like I'm powered up. 808 is showing me you've got a lot of energy stored up in your arm. How about letting it out? How about that? Special attacks. Try can build up energy in his reverb gauge to unleash special attacks. L and R at the same time. Uh, attacking or if you left right stick. L3, R3. Please don't explode. Collecting batteries will fill up your reverb gauge. Your reverb gauge will reset after battle, so make use of it while it's charging. No. What if I don't want to? Seeky secrets. Always go for the seeky secrets. But I do not need you. I do not need you in your Baymax himself. Maybe I do. Is it offering things that I wouldn't have been able to figure out otherwise? Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm. Found that. Hey yo. Retro wants them wasted. So let's waste them. Gunners. Thanks for the work. Save point. Say, at least I can always land that one, but I sure can. I'm gonna get above a D. I'm gonna. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna get a C. I'm not stopping not until I get a C. Very bad. Quite bad at all. Extremely bad at all. What this game makes me want to do is go play Everhood. 
Because Everhood, I can always land the rhythm. <laughs> and I need to, like, prove to myself that I can do it. I'm having an identity crisis. Are you a mimic? Oh, you want to talk? My bad. Cool. Easy, deep, easy. Deep. I don't think George is supposed to do that. Okay. Ooh. They're giving me a whole lot of upgrades, huh? Let's push me. Nothing this one? Aha! Something this way, see? That's why we look for Seeky Secrets. Ha <laughs> You're kidding. Well, how do I do? How do I do such a thing? <laughs> Is there a gap? Is there something I'm not considering? <laughs> how do I get through? I need Hinbot. Hinbot, where are you? Can't jump on top. Can I stand in the center? <laughs> How do I do it? What do you? Oh, there's a dash. Has there always been a dash? I did not know there was a dash button. That's good. Then Bob would have told me that. Should have, should have listened to him, Bob. What's up? Uh -oh. Don't hit. I'm gonna hit Bob's it. Out. I'm gonna hit it. Busted. Could you fix it? Any I'm gonna tools hit it. nearby? Tools? <laughs> I got a better idea. I'm gonna hit that generator. I'm gonna do it. I don't have any choice. Aw, oh, come on. Not my best. Not my best. I Knowing that boost is a big deal. Generator. You had one job. You set me up. What? Rekka will destroy both of us if we run behind. Well, someone fixed it, so stop yelling at me! Yikes. Oh no, I really messed up his day, dude. I I just wanted to I just wanted to do a little goof. I was just doing a little goof. Uh oh. I was just goofing on him. I didn't realize it was gonna it was gonna cost him to unalive, dude. It's just goof. It's just a prank, bro. I won't prank you again, I promise. Whoa! <laughs> Is my depth perception off or what, dude? 
Reminder, sick days must be registered six months before desired date. Asterisk, sick days for robotic employees will not be approved. The boss? <gasps> boss time? I'm not even ready with the pawns, dude. Hopefully there's the mini boss. I mean, I feel like I'm hitting it dead on the mouse. Oh, special attack? <laughs> Laughable. Tough enemies won't react to your attacks until you break their stun gauge. Once it's broken, you can knock them back or lift them in your combos. Keep pressure on, you'll need to continuously attack them to break them. Leave them alone, they'll recharge their gauge. Focus your attacks on a single enemy to take them out fast. Can I lock on? Where I came from? So there's a few minutes from a break here. light attacks for even more combos and beat hits. Now's the time to try it out. Maybe I'll try syncopate. Maybe syncopation? Time to mix heavy and light attacks. Timing gets a little trickier, but give it a shot. Can't syncopate either. <laughs> I was gonna try to syncopate. I can't even go off the rhythm. Another combo for you. Let's see how you handle this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're getting it. Almost out of here. Do I have to? Do I have to go in, in order? I did it! I did it! <laughs> I 
Holy moly. This game is bizarre. I really like it. I like the art style. I like the aesthetic. I'm here for it. But it is time for a break. And so we'll I will think on it for the next three minutes and if we're going to come back to this game or not. Um, but we are doing healthy habits here at Checkpoint, uh, healthy streaming habits. Every hour we take a three-minute break to stretch our legs, to go and take a walk, to go and get a fresh sip of water, to go and uh, do whatever you got to do, get a snack, whatever you need to do. Take time. Uh, three minutes. We'll be back here in those three minutes to continue hanging out together. So exclamation point break time in the chat. Ba -bow. I just and uh, I will done. see you guys back here in three minutes. <laughs> Alright mate, I know what you're here for. I'm the one robot that don't sound like a robot. You're asking me to take a dog, but I can't accommodate you mate. Got special orders, isn't it? <laughs> that is his voice! That is his voice! I nailed it! I nailed it! Got special orders, isn't it? Looking to dread something special we can do. I might even give you something you can win. But I can't be taking a dog. P.O. tree, you understand? I love that I nailed his voice without even needing to, dude! Heck yes! So good at games. Great voice, 10 out of 10, best voice ever. The fact that I nailed it right away makes me real proud of myself. Directly to um, the cause, and, and oh, I think hello. it's so... Uh, and that's, that's one of the things I was wondering is... Hey! Breach just hey, donated that. Sweet. Thank you so much. It makes a huge difference. So one whole dollar of that dollar <laughs> will go towards, towards uh, you know... It took up my entire relief. screen. I <laughs> did it. <laughs> do, you have the, do you have the alert box set you to have the full? Alert set to full? Uh, yeah, we're gonna. Oh need my to, gosh, we're gonna that is the most exciting was, dollar that's ever been. So done. loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we went an extra, a whole extra hour. I can't believe we went an hour. This one has like a little bit of a valley girl tone. It's also awful. And this one is fine. Extra power game. There you go. Way too dank. Way past cool. You love to see it. Number 15. None other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is. Arrogant, single minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that could happen around here. You must be... What? <laughs> what? What have you done? What have you done, Perspectus? You've, you've summoned him. You've summoned the boy. The green boy. Yeah! <laughs> this is Locke. Hello, everybody. Locke is here. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> I don't know if anybody ever clipped that. I think that might just exist in our in our imaginations forever. I live in front of a green screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am Groot. I am Groot. My Rosa Corsa Ferrari. Ten minutes somewhere is ten minutes anywhere. But somehow what hurts more than the other. When I'm driving to the coffee shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am. After the middle school plays, the smell, uh, the air smells like bonfire and people. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We back in it. Okay. Um, so here's what, here's what I'm going to do, my counter offer here. I don't know how long this is, but I just saw it says track one, a fresh start. So I think let's make it to the end of track one and see if that does any better for us. Um, I'm also thinking about just using mouse and keys and seeing if maybe that does something. So we'll try doing mouse and keys and we'll see if that makes any kind of difference. Um, I am also not good at mouse and keys, so that's always an issue. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, it's mouse click. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So is it is it is it gonna be WASD then? And shift is dash. 
Okay. Look, exit! Told you this was easy. That's fate, idiot. They're clearly expecting you. With what? Nothing I can't handle. Yeah, we're gonna at least try. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if not using a controller makes it easy. Oh, I love all these little boxes. Oh no, I can't possibly destroy this. I can't I possibly. Now you have me stuck in boxes. But I'll say, this is a fine stack. A great job. <laughs> oh, do I do it? Do I do it or do I not, chat? What do you think? What do we think in the chat? Do I mess over his dinosaur? What do I do? What do I do? I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. I feel like to do good, do no harm, and strive to grow here at Checkpoint. We, we shouldn't. We ought not. That's just my, that's my two cents about it. Exact same way, the big goof. I'm telling you guys, mouse and keys. Definitely not my forte in everything else. <laughs> we'll try it. I supposed to know something about that fire? Am I just like not there yet? Alright, I'm assuming this is the big boss. It's my prediction. I love See, the cat. Just like a thought. It's fine. You need to relax. Uh, uh, huh? Introducing the head of protection. Rekka is our first boss, huh? Rekka! Oh no. Hey there you are, man. Messing with Rekka's crew. Rekka's production. And worst of all, yeah. Rick is perfect. No defect record! Your security tried to kill me! Project Armstrong, E-U-L-A. Fine print. Should read it, punk. Defects get recalled! Uh, recalled? You mean killed? Rick ain't picked the verbs! <laughs> That's for the mooks in marketing. Anyway... Thanks for being dumb enough to just waltz in here. Rick ain't gotta get her hands dirty. I told you. Welcome to the Project Armstrong Defect Check, honey. And our QA's the best in the business. Hello! Uh, whoa! And now he spelled it wrong. How are you gonna do me like that? Glass pyramids. Too big to fail. I like defense. That's good. I like how they taste. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Inspection level one million. The art is so good. Let's rock, big boy. Ah, 
It's not better. It's not better. Chai, his hands are extra sensitive for uh, inspecting. Here's a way to say hit them, but okay. <laughs> Go get him. Here we go. Oh, I see. Got it. Uh oh. Where's he going? Inside of the building for it. New enough. is so inspired. So nice. It's real nice to look at. Oh, what is that? What's up? What's happening? Why does that keep that? Oh, no, I don't have any health. Why was that? Why was that pause so long? But that pause definitely meant something. The way I died. That pause definitely meant something. What did that pause mean? Why did he pause so long? Was I supposed to be attacking him? Oh, nice! Save me at that point. Time to get serious. I get to see this cool CG again. Thing go. go get him. Where did the thing go? Where did the county thing go? No, where did the county thing go? I need the county thing. If I'm gonna do it off rhythm, I'm at least gonna do it with my preferred controller.
go. Very nice, very nice. Oops. Does that literally say weak points on his order? By design, he hurts us. Track. But every song's gotta end. I can dig it. I will say, man, this game has got its uh, aesthetic down to a T. It knows exactly what it needs to be, and it doesn't do more than it needs to do or less. I think it's, I think it's pretty much perfect in that way. Really got to try it on my phone. Got to try it on my phone. Got to try it whenever I have actual latency. Because I think that would make it a whole lot more fun. But I think we're going to call it there. We'll call this one there. Because I, I, I just... Uh, it's just not as fun as I think it should be when I can't stay on the rhythm. But all in all, a great start to a game. So now the question becomes, what are we going to play next? And uh, we could do either the second most voted thing or we could just go ahead and do more space for the Unbound so that our Thursday stream gets that much quicker to the end and then we're able to more more quickly um, play something else on those Thursday streams. So here we have on The next most voted thing would have been bonus streams, but I don't even know if I have that game downloaded. Yeah, we'll just go back to Space for the Unbound. We'll keep playing that one. Because the quicker we can finish that game, the quicker we can move on to uh, the case of the Golden Idol. And I feel like we got to be getting towards the end of A Space for the Unbound. I don't know, though. We're 7.1 hours in. Let's see how long it is. Nope, I went to the wrong thing. Eleven hours, yeah. So we could we could potentially finish it on Thursday if we play more now. So that's what we're gonna do. That is what we're going to do. So everybody say bye to Spoofy again. Spoofy just visited for a quick second. Um, Space for the Unbound for those of you that have been able to un unable to join us on uh, Thursday streams. This is about two supernatural beings, one who has the ability to dive into people's mind, the other who has the ability to change space and time. And uh, throughout the course of the game, um, we have learned more and more that our friend may not be who we think they are. Um, and uh, there's definitely some weird things going on. It is set in Indonesia in the 90s, which is a setting I can honestly say I've never really delved into before. Is this thing just not gonna turn on? What's the deal? He's just not turning on. Did it die?
I think it's dead. All right, I'm gonna change the batteries. Strange. Very strange. Alright, new controller, new controller. Thanks to Sneaky for the shout out to Hi-Fi Rush and for having us play it. I really enjoyed it. You were correct about it being a Nerd Pastor Nate game. Um, especially with the aesthetic and the art style, I'm right on board. Um, I hate that it just, I just, I wasn't able to make it work. Could be operator error, but regardless, I feel like it's a game that deserves to be enjoyed more than I was enjoying it. Um, let's see. It's our volume. Break it down a little bit. Level. Okay. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing or where I'm at. Oh, yes, I'm trying to convince him and his son to play so that I can change history. I gotta figure out how to do that. What does that sound? Something's beeping. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta help this kid. These stones, yes. If people truly believe they have a magical power, I can sell them at ten times the price. Let's see, what's the story for this one? Oh, it has the spirit of, oh, I know. If people believe the end is coming, yes, this'll do. <laughs> Very good. Papa's busy, kid. Go play by yourself. can I give to him? I don't know. In fact, I looked around and I didn't see anything. But I must just be mistaken. That's where I got mi mixed up. I can't get through. Oh! I can space dive him? Okay, maybe I didn't read that. Let's space dive. So that's my superpower. I can dive inside people's brains and help them sort out their traumas. The end is nigh. Come with me and salvation will be upon you. Yes, save us. Don't abandon us. <laughs> yeah, now you're hearing me. It used to be that no one gave you a darn about what I had to say. I'd always said it. I'd be here till the end. The end is nigh. So this is the source, huh? I wonder if there's anything I can do to remove him from this pedestal. There's a statue of a kid here and there's a glitching shape near the feet. It's a soccer ball. I don't see anything like a ball here. I should search somewhere else. Please don't let me go back in the other world. I'm not anything to anyone. Hustle, I need to hustle, I need to be rich. The end is nigh. 
Okay. Do I have to go get the soccer ball from him? Man! So the one thing about this game is that it is definitely just an endless source of fetch quests, one after another. Not that that's always a good or bad thing, it just kind of is a thing. Maybe there's a soccer ball in this world. No, this is just going back to the beginning. Yeah, I gotta go get the soccer ball from that kid in the past. Whoopsie. Nope, I definitely did not do that. In the Twilight Zone. Okay. Let's go see if we can get him to give our give him the soccer ball. Do I have to give him a game bot? He gives me the soccer ball and then I Man, there's too many steps! There's too many steps! I don't want too many steps! Okay. Who has game bots? Does Kid have a game bot? You have a game bot? You have a game bot? Do you have a game bot? Does anybody have a game bot? I need somebody to give me a game bot so that I can give it to the little boy, so that I can get the little boy a soccer ball, so that I can take the soccer ball and put it in the mine palace in the past, so that then the guy will go play with his kid who no longer has a soccer ball, so that he'll get out of my way so that I can go back to the high school. Convoluted, thy name is Vigi Game. Whoa! Isn't that Ria Cafe's pastry chef? What is she doing? I have no idea. Are you alright, chef? Cake. What? Cake. Um, uh, ma'am, are you alright? Cake. Give me cake now, cake. Is this because of my space dive earlier? I'm gonna tell her we need to pass through. You think she'll listen to me? No. Ugh. You can space dive her? Go ahead then. We need to go and fast go and fast before Raya endangers herself. Am I gonna have to manipulate her mind again? So are you telling me I gotta go in the pastry chef's brain to make her feel better about herself? So that then I can go through and get the game bot, so that I can give the game bot to the soccer boy, so that I can get the soccer boy to play with his dad. Cake, give me cake! No, no, this is my fault, isn't it? I screwed her up with space dive. Hmm? Grandpa, oh Grandpa, please come back. I'm lost without you. All there is is cake. Cake, cake, cake! Hey Grandpa, does she mean the owner of Ria Cafe? Come back, did he? No, that can't be. It was only a few days ago that I bought a cake from him. So Grandpa died? It's a lot of cakes. This cake looks weird and kind of sloppy. There's no way I'll be able to move it without ruining it. Cake! Cake! What's that? had cake, but she's still not happy about it. The cake slicer. Something written on the table. The true treasure lies within a three-tiered, double alternating layered dark and white chocolate cake with a white dressing on top. Like this one?
Seems treasure hasn't getting exactly like a piece of cake. I should be more careful. Where's the cake slicer? I don't have it with me anymore. Was I wrong? I must have been wrong. Single tiered, triple alternating vanilla and chocolate cake with chocolate cream on top. Single tier. The only single tier I see with chocolate on top is this one. Oh, some paper. Is this a will? Signed, your grandpa. But her grandpa isn't dead. I talked to him just the other day. Couldn't have been that long ago, could it? It's hard to keep track of time at the moment. Anyway, I should give this to the chef. Do you recognize this? Grandpa! <laughs> Your grandpa, did he pass away? Grandpa is dead, and I failed him. Grandpa's dead. There's nothing left for me to do now except cake, cake. Even though I hate it so much, I despise it. Cake. <laughs> Yikes! Now what? This is new. You can't even use your space dive, Atma. No. I think I broke her earlier with a particularly invasive dive. Oh, oh no. At home today, so finally catching a stream again. Hope things are going well. Things are going good, Chuck. What's up? Glad that you're home. How have things been? Need to find something else. It's not just that she's keeping us from passing through, it's... Well, the fact that I was the one that caused this is weighing pretty heavy on my conscience. And technically, I gave you the red magic book earlier, so it's my fault too. Are you sure this is a safe thing to do? It's not. But it actually makes me feel better that we share the burden. Don't worry. I'll find another way. I guess I gotta go back in time. Hopefully I'll get the game gear soon. Oh, do I have to give her the will and testament? What do you want? Not open yet. I still... Please, take a look at this. What's that? This is... My grandpa's last will? So it's true, then? Your grandfather's dead? The owner of Ria Cafe is dead? Yes, he passed away just days ago. In this timeline, he's already dead. And who did I meet in the cafe back then? How come you have my grandpa's last will, but know nothing of his passing? Who are you, anyway? It's not important. I'm here to help. Would you please read the will first? Okay. My granddaughter. You know how I've cherished this cafe since I built it myself all those years ago. You've always been a perceptive girl. The cafe is precious to me, but my greatest regret is that I never had the chance to show how much more precious you are to me. You inherited my talent for baking, but I know deep inside that you don't carry the same passion for it. I'd be happy if you continue baking for Ria Cafe. However, all I want is for you to be happy. If you want to honor me, have the courage to pursue your true dreams. Above, above anything, I want you to be happy. Grandpa. Is... is this real? Grandpa. It's real, I promise. I knew that if I didn't show you this, you'd have kept working here out of a sense of obligation. But you need to know, your grandfather loved you and wanted you to be happy. What do you want? I, I love making Chinese food. Garlic, onions, chili. There's no better feeling than watching customers eat the things I make for them. But I don't know if I'll be able to keep going alone. Would you help? Sure, what do you need from me? Could you take the orders from customers? I'm going to go get myself psyched up to cook. You got it. Uh oh, you're taking orders, bro? Sure thing. I want the char kway tiao with lots of chilies. Maybe like three. Whoa! I'm going to write it down. Hey, you guys, I'm using chat. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, chat. Actually, I don't want to spend the rest of the night trapped in the bed. Oh, no! Toe. Toe, actually. Taking orders? I'm actually pretty hungry. I'll have one red fried rice. Hold the... don't even know how to say that. Kessup Manis? Wait, on second thought. You guys stop this! 
The Mawet Fried Rice. Mawet Fried Rice. Craving some noodles? We'll find out. Fried noodles? Actually, I'm trying to eat healthy. So noodle soup. Noodle soup. Sunny side. Oh. Boodle. <laughs> Boodle soup. All right, I got the orders. I got the orders of Boodle soup. You did. Yes. List them out for me. What did the kid in the green shirt order? Ordered that one. Two chilies. Next order. What did the lady in the striped shirt order? Striped? One red fried rice. No! Mollet. Uh-oh. What did the Ria Cafe staff order? I might have gotten it wrong. Noodle soup with an egg sunny side up. That's the one. Boodle. Boodle. Hey, that was good. Here's the money. I'll be back. Food was amazing, just packed with savory deliciousness. Thank you. Please come again. Tamini. Is that her name? That was really good. I apologize for doubting you all this time. Thank you. But don't worry about that. I know what you've been thinking, and I'm here to tell you it's okay. Oh no, did we give up on Hi Fi? Also, hi. Hi Fi, what's up, Harry? We didn't give up necessarily. I'm going to go play it on my own. Uh, definitely not a good game for latency. Um, either I'm just worse at rhythm games than I used to be, or I just could not get on the beat. But I was like looking at the thing, and it was uh, it was like a good half a second off, and I couldn't get on the rhythm. And it was ruining the fun of the game. I still enjoy the art style and the aesthetic and the story. It seems fun. I'm into it. It seems like it knows exactly what it needs to be. And I'm here for it. However, did not work. Go chase your dream. Ria Cafe will be fine. What will happen to if I'm gone? I'll continue in your stead. I won't let the cafe fall apart. Don't worry, I'm a good baker too. Come by sometime. I'll give you some of my pastries. Um, excuse me. I haven't seen Grandpa in a while. Is he okay? Uh, I just want the Black Forest Gateau. I want to share it with my friend. I think she'll love it. Friend? Uh, Grandpa is... he has... Don't you worry, okay? Ria Cafe will be open for business tomorrow. And you'll get your Black Forest Gateau then, okay? I'll do my best to be as good as Tamini over here. Ria. You really don't mind if I leave? It's fine, I can handle this. He'll make your grandfather proud. I'll leave him to it. I wonder if Miss Tamini will really end up making Chinese cuisine. I need to get back to the present. Yeah, I do. I need to get a game gear. I need a game bot. I need a game bot so I can go get a soccer ball so that I can get the guy to move. Rather than just walking around the crowd. Sorry, I'm closing up. There's this town that's famous for whatever. Ingredients like that will add a whole other dimension to my flavors. So farewell. Onward to Chinese cuisine. Bye, Tamini. I've really changed her future. I wonder which of Miss Tamini is the real one now. Um, are you okay? What are you thinking? N nothing. Let's get going. Hopefully get a game bot. Game bot in here, maybe? Arcade would make a sense. <gasps> Hello, sir. You appear to have a game bot. Hey, Atma, let's play. Sorry, dude. No time right now. Don't be so boring. Here, check this out. I'll lend it to you. Uh, uh, sure, okay. Yeah! Pocket-sized box of buttons and screens. This is a portable arcade game. It's a game bot. It's cool and hip and uh, rad, I guess. And uh, let me let you in on something here. I think this thing's going to be big. You can take it anywhere, play on your own, swap out the card to play different games. Sounds great, but what about the arcade? Heh, <laughs> arcades are so outdated. Who even goes to arcades anymore? Well, actually, don't try and talk me at it. I'm going to close the arcade and make a fortune on game bots. I'm going to be rich! Rich! Seems a shame, but guess there's not much I can do to change his mind. Okay. Now we give the game bot to the boy. We get the boy soccer ball. We get the soccer ball into the boy in the past. We get the we get the the boy in the past to go play with the dad. We get the dad to go play with the boy, and then the dad leaves the crowd alone, and then the crowd is done. I want your soccer ball. And then we get to go back to the school. Fetch quest of the game. Yep. Hey kid. 
Who are you? Papa said not to talk to strangers. Check out this thing. What's that? I can play with that? But Papa also said not to play with strangers. Not that he plays with me anymore either. So I guess I'll play with this stupid... Whoa, what is this? So many games and something so small. With this, I don't need to play with Papa. Even better, I don't even need Papa anymore. I feel like we've done the wrong thing. <laughs> don't need Papa anymore. I feel like we made a bad call. I feel like I feel like she probably shouldn't separate fathers and sons. Yeah, that feels bad. That feels real bad. Hopefully all's well that ends well in the end. Wait, was that a thing to pick up? I gotta get my collectibles. All right, now we space dive into the current guy's brain and we give the soccer ball to the boy that's in his brain and then he goes and plays with his son because the boy in his brain has the ball, as one does. I'm not anything to anyone. Hustle, I need to hustle. I need to be rich. No, your son needs a soccer ball. Papa, let's play catch, please. My kid! That's right, you used to love doing things with me. And now, not even a call. What am I doing with my life? My kid! My kid! My boy! I'm so deep in my own world, I neglected him, and now he won't even talk to me. All's well that ends well. Well, except maybe the kid doesn't want anything to do with him now because he's got a game bot. What's the point of being rich if I don't have my boy by my side? My son. <laughs> Whoops, maybe I shouldn't have done that. What, is he crying? I've abandoned my boy! That's the second there will be blood reference we've made in like two weeks. Hey dude, are you selling or not? I have my money right here. Quiet! Get out of my sight! My son! My son hates me! Dude, not our problem. What's gotten into you? I need to find him. I need to apologize. Hey, where are you going? I might love that movie too much. You were definitely the last one too, but it's weird that it happened. Not that you did it twice, but that it there was a good cause to do it twice. Let's go. This is lame. Lamest street preacher I've ever seen. I feel bad, but he probably had it coming. Right? Mommy, um, you're awfully quiet. Huh? No, I mean, it's nothing. Yeah, she would... Totally in me if she knew I messed with his past. Let's go then. Whoa, who are you? You. Me. It's it's me. Have you collected all the letters from the Oman bubblegum wrappers? Not all of them. I have yet to find the final most elusive one, the end letter. Him is a lie. What, it's just Yoma? Yoman, yo man lies. All lies! Lies! There was never an end letter! They lie! Lie to you! I think you might take bubblegum too seriously. I'm just gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say you, my friend, might take bubblegum too seriously. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So many bubblegum wrappers! Oh my goodness. Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, I only need the letter N to complete the word Yoman. They lied to you. There was never an N letter. It's just a marketing ploy. Hey, calm down. Why are you so obsessed with it anyway? The grand prize. A brand new bike. I can't afford a bike for my son. My boy! <laughs> I thought with the prize, surely I... Hmm. So you need a bike. I know exactly where a bike is. Allow me to go get it for you. It's back at the start of the game. No big deal. I'll get you a bike from the future. Future bike. Gonna get a future bike. Future bike. It's one you're gonna like. Super cool bike. We love the future bikes. Uh-oh. I thought this is where the future was. I'ma look out! Oh, a car! Holy crap, a split second later and I would have been a pancake. That's pretty scary. Well, now we can't pass through. We'll need to get past the Doomsayers crowd after all. Well, okay. Okay, then. 
Back to the other way. Hopefully you're gonna get a bike. I know where the bike is. Just got to find out how to get to the bike. There's definitely a bike. A future bike. Somewhere around here. Just got to find the bike. Maybe it's this way. Find that future bike. Nope, it's definitely not here. This is not the future bike. Is. Future bike. You gotta find the future bike. Find one you like. We're gonna find the future bike. Do do. Gonna find the future bike. Do do. Gonna find the future bike. Do do. One that you like. A really cool future bike. Okay, I guess it was actually past you, so I could have just kept going. Gonna get you a future bike, though. Rest assured. Rest assured. Whew, the Doomsayer was acting weird, but we're finally past that awful crowd. Yeah. These are... Ooh, oh, their faces are real creepy. Ooh, their faces are real creepy. Not a fan. It's like Majora's Mask level horror. The festival. The Lintang Festival has finally started. But these people, something's wrong with them. Is this all Raya's doing? Did she use her power to organize this festival and manipulate people into coming? Raya, what's happened to you? Um, what's going on? You're quiet. Uh, nothing. Are you sure? We can take a break if you're tired. How's it going? What's up, Cam? You can see that we dropped off Hi-Fi. I just couldn't get into the flow. No, let's just move on. We need to get to Raya immediately. No, I need to get the future bike. Okay. To the school then. No. No, not to the school. I need a future bike. The only thing I'm interested in having is future bike. Stop trying to get me to do anything other than future bike. I don't even want to talk to these people. Oh, that's me. Oop, that is me. Don't let these two reach Raya. You hear me? Huh? Who's that? Hey, come back here. Did he, didn't he say Raya? I didn't get a look at his face. Who was that? Beats me. Let's run after him. Not so fast, punk. You again. Back from the arcade. I'll never forget what you did to me, you little brat. Well, die. It wasn't that long ago, was it? Sensei and I kicked your butt real good. Yeah, shut it. I'm gonna even the score with you, Brett. What was keeping you out of the flow? Just not feeling the game, or was it the rhythm aspects? It was the latency of the rhythm aspects. Uh, love the aesthetic, love the game, love the art style, super into it. I beat the first boss, and I'll go play it. I'll play it on my own time. Um, but the latency was just abysmal. Um, I couldn't, I could not possibly hit the timing, no matter what I did. I tried on keyboard. Uh, the only thing I didn't try was putting in headphones, but that's because it would have been a real pain to reset up all of my audio outputs here in OBS, so. But I'm into it. I'm into it. The latency just isn't into it for me. Yeah, that's not fair. Still want to fight, punk? Come here, we'll flatten you like a pancake. Yeah, we will. I'm a let's run. But I can barely take on a cat, let alone these guys. And you need more backup. Let's split. Ah, uh, fine. Future bike. Have you been doing the future bike bit the entire time, Barry? Because that song's going to be in my head the rest of the day. Sensei, if we have you with us, we can take these thugs out. Sensei? Is he one of your teachers? I don't recognize him. No, it's my sensei. Marin, let me introduce you to the guy that will help us beat those thugs. This guy trained me to fight, and he's strong. This guy? <laughs> really? Go away, kiddo. I'm not the one you're looking for. But sensei... The thugs are back. I need your help to fight them. There's so many. Uh, just quit it already. It's just a game. The city. It's politics. It's people. They're all just a big game. <laughs> These people, the ones in power, ones with their hands dirty in the street, they're all the same. There's no justice. All there is in life is temporary happiness. Like this cotton candy. You'll understand when you get to my age. Enjoy the festival, kiddo. Sensei, what are you talking about? I'm not a word. You're saying that this skinny nutcase is going to help us fight those guys? He already fought them before, with me right by his side. Looks like he already lost all his fighting spirit. It happens to adults a lot, you know. Uh, my space dive earlier might have caused this. What are we supposed to do? Can you space dive him again? That's the thing. The red magic book isn't reacting at all. You're not in control of the book? Look, Marion, I don't know where you got the idea that I know what I'm doing. The book tells me when to space dive someone, not the other way around. What? Oh. Oh no. This isn't good. All this time I thought you were really in control. 
The artifacts are all useless. Ouch! What is it? The wand reacted, which means there must be a rift nearby. Let's find it, Atma. Oh, I got all the bottle caps! Oh! I get a new page! Mystery! Lurking and working. What's up, Steven? Enjoy your lurk. Now check this out. My bottle cap collection. Whoa, it's so pretty. All colorful and shiny. It's like treasure. I used to have more, but I left the rest of my hometown when I moved here. I actually used to have some too. Oh? My mom gave it to me, but my dad threw it away. My mom didn't look like she cares in the slightest. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Atma. What do you think is your most precious treasure? Huh? Well, uh, for a lot of people, that's family. Some people would answer friends. <laughs> I have neither. I don't have any treasure to be proud of. You're Mala. Anything can be treasure if you want it to be. You said this bottle cap collection looks like treasure. Well, then it is, because you say so, yeah? Now you can start collecting your own treasure, too. Anything can be treasure, if I say so? What's yours, Atma? What's your most precious treasure? My most precious treasures are all my sweet memories. Because not even time can take them from me. Lame. Hey, you asked. Well, I regret it. But this one looks rare. Yeah, this one was from a limited edition. You know what? Let's pick the 20 best caps out of these. You're on. Is this game going to turn out to be like one big space dive into my brain? What was that? My head! I can't remember how to use the thing. Here we go. Where's the rift? Somewhere. Don't oh, make me talk to like people. Maybe it was uh, it was X. That was it. Ooh. Found it. Team Star. That'd be way easier to beat that one. All right, back in time we go. Let's do the rift warp again. Bulldozer in the way, but the operator's nowhere to be found. Good thing we didn't reverse reverse you this time, right? Seriously. Now, Gracewood, there's something stuck in the coin slot. A coin on a string? <gasps> Somebody scanning? Is it these children? That freak's hanging out by, down by the river again. She's so weird. I know, right? It's like she's a river spirit or something. Why am I in time? Why, am, why did I go back in time? What's happening? I don't feel like there's anything to be gained here. Okay. The wand reacted. There must be an unopened rift nearby. Another rift? I'm double rifting? That can't be true. A rift within a rift. The rift two electric boogaloo. All right, let's do the rift warp twice. It's locked. Unlock it. Is this just further back in time? Again? 
The wand reactor must be an unopened rift nearby. Enough! Enough! I don't want any more! I'm gonna be prehistoric here in a second. What is the sign? It looks like there's something to see, something there, but it's too dirty to see it properly. Still broken, I can't call anyone with it. <laughs> this bag is filled with trash. Look at this weird drawing. Did you see her face when we stole her bag? Oh man, she was screaming like a banshee. <laughs> Seriously freaky. What are we gonna do in the next karate session? More pranks? I don't even know if there's gonna be a next session. I heard Sensei's closing down the dojo. Oh really? Eh, I'm not fussed. I, um, I'm only here because my dad wanted me to be. Pass me the shoe. Oh, they sell Dragon Box X comic book here. But, uh, why is it still Dragon Go? And the publisher is different, too. Garuda Graffiti? The artist's name is nowhere to be found, and the dialogue is different. Is this... pirated? Dude, why do you care? If you want a pristine original book, go to some fancy bookstore. Is this piracy? Man, Karate Boy is so cool. Why can't I be like him? What are you looking at? I'm, I kill us, weirdo. <laughs> Karate Boy. Why am I space diving this random person in the midst of a second rift? Who is this? Why am I here? What is going on? You want to join our bike gang? You got to do it. Come on. Maybe he's not random. This is really what it takes to be a man. This humiliation its torture. Nothing's worth this. Why am I doing this? Dude, I don't know anything. First, second, third. There's a word first etched into the frame and a comic panel of an elbow attack. Comics, you say. I guess I gotta go find out what the comics say. Don't they know we're rifting right now? Can I read the comic? Guess not. I saw you. The third rift. Strange rifts of the third kind. star. Deeper and deeper we go. And the rowers so show no signs of slowing. And there's no telling which way they are going. It works! Don't know who I'd call me either. Ghostbusters? It's the operator! Rift inside a rift inside a rift inside a bag of milk. Hey sir, hello. What is it, kid? Your bulldozer's in the way. I want to go over there. And I want to jump right on top right heavy machinery in 40 degree heat. We can't all have what we want, right? Buzz off, kid. I'm only doing what I was told. Yeah, I can't argue with that. You gave up way too easily. PT Rota Jossa Construction. How's my driving? Call this number! Yeah! Call that number. Call that number. Where's Sensei? I saw him heading off towards the alley, muttering. What? So we don't have practice today? Yes, let's go play then. Okay, call the number, open the alley, go and check on Sensei. Call him. You're speaking with PT Road adjacent construction. We nail it so you don't have to. How can I help? Hello, one of your bulldozers is blocking a road near the net cafe. Uh, oh, what now? Uh, oh, yeah, right. I mean the dojo. The road near the dojo, because I'm in a rift. Roger, roger. That's correct. We're doing construction work for PT Bunker Go near the dojo. We can move the bulldozer, sir, but only either in front of the dojo or in front of the alley. Can't you move it so both routes are clear? Nope, sorry, we're operating on a tight permit. Where do you want the bulldozer to be? I guess, I guess in front of the dojo for a bit. Can't wait to go back and forth in time. Don't complain, I need to move the bulldozer? Okay. Can't wait to do this back and forth. It's going to be fun. Can I get the future bike? Nope. 
Maybe he's right. Maybe this dojo thing is stupid. I wonder when they're holding the next entrance exam. He? Who's he? Ah! <laughs> this has to stop! How many brains? Fetch Quest the Movie Part 2 The Reckoning. It's too many! Ah! What does this key open? The dojo? Well, I guess I gotta open the dojo! I trained so hard also that nobody would ever humiliate me like that again, but my school bully is a super successful man with lots of power now. No matter how hard I train, the punches will never reach the ones at the top, so what's the point of training at all? Ooh. The switch changes the picture. <gasps> You're kidding. Does anybody remember what it was? Ugh, oh, you're joking. Oh, never mind. Okay, so it's just a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna tell myself... I'm gonna tell myself there was no way of knowing. I'm gonna tell myself that, whether it's true or not. What do you guys have to say about it? Okay. Alright. Alright. I thought it was elbow. I thought it was elbow kick punch. But even still, I didn't see any of those symbols there. So I think I gotta go find the code. Hi, yo, yo. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go back throughout time and check the alleyway in each circumstance to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Then I'm gonna go back here, move it back in front of the alley, go back to the first dojo, in which I will unlock the lockbox to find out what's inside there. This was pointless. Never mind. Never mind. Future bike. That's what I really want. I want to go back and I want to go enough into the future. Oh, wait. What happened? Oh, because it's in front of the dojo. Oh. Well, look at that. Would you just look at that? They've siphoned me off. That's actually pretty clever. Oh, I don't have my coin. Oh, okay, it just it just stays in position. Okay, now we're gonna move it in front of the alley. Thank you. Okay. Now, back to the future. Oh, it's three o'clock. We're gonna take a quick three minute break uh, in just a second. I'm gonna try and unlock this thing and then we'll take another three minute break and then we'll hop back on after that. There's a cleaning spray here. Don't do this to me. All right, here we go, back in time. Back we go. Oh, never mind. It's right here. Good. Good. Clean it. Polish that bad boy up. Ooh! Bird flower praying hand. Bird flower praying hand. Go, go, go! Bird flower praying hand. Bird flower praying hand. Easy. Now we'll take a break after this. <laughs> I can't. I see. That's the thing about this game is I'm just so into it. Even whenever I shouldn't be, I'm into it. This game has everything. Got the riffs, find the bottle caps, fetch quest, complete the bulldozers. Yes, a lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of all of that. A lot of everything. Uh, in front of the dojo. Thank you. For the love of. I wonder if you could just, for an achievement, like, spam it back and forth until he gets mad. Like, truly mad. Alright, Dojo Meister. Bird, flower, praying hand. Bird, flower, praying hand. Bird, flower, praying hand. Yeah! This logo by Dojo! 
That's right, I opened this place to train others so that nobody has to endure harassment. They need to be brave and unrelenting. With a character like that, they can stand up for themselves and others. There's a special kind of honor in sharing the fruits of your labor with others. This dojo, it's my chance to educate and make real change. I could never give up on my students. Butter Sensei. That's right, we have practice today. My students are waiting for me. I can't just stand here flip-flopping about their future. Hey, look, that's great and all, but I really just need, I really just need to, uh, I really just need to take down some bullets. Where are my students? Come on, we have practice today. I don't know where your students are. Is that a me problem? Am I supposed to handle your students? I guess that's a me problem. What if he just quits? <laughs> that would've been great. I quit. I refuse. All right, quick three minute break. Go stretch your legs, get a snack, stretch, whatever you gotta do to take a little break for yourself, take a little time for yourself. Uh, you gotta take care of the body. And that's what we're doing here, trying to embody good practices along those lines. So I will see you back in three minutes. Just want to be done with it. See y'all soon. <laughs> Running on a nine volt. What am I supposed to do? Hook him up to a car battery? <laughs> I need more power. Give me more power. power. Uh, <laughs> you can't, oh no, a thing shot out. All right, well, this maybe that was the problem. There's a little thing in there. He has chronic fatigue. He needs some help. Now, if I like wave him around, woo hoo! Woo! Just not feel it. It's because it's not Christmas yet. Brings out the best in me. Unlike the violating heat of August that fills the space between the dirt and the heavens, only a handful of moons prior to the golden treetops and the ritualistic pumpkin and maple that stirs our hearts and reveals our need for stupid, cheery things. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, it almost worked. Some lines really worked well. All right, next stand. Uh, so in between the stands, it's Shorty, oh my angel, you're my darling angel. Closer than my peeps, you are to me, baby. The artist falling asleep, laying he said, to rest in the fading foliage. On the ground, folding up the day to smaller, smaller glimpses of light, and here I am. <laughs> Be then in the soft wind, here I am, grinning in a gray sweater, here I am, waking up the tenderness of autumn, can't be a cool one, what about a longer run? <laughs> uh, let's just draw a card, because Stinkbug's gonna go in there anyway. Kraken! Okay. Here I am! Alright, Mole? I don't know what Mole does. Got it! Take the last face up. As you probably noticed, the new face up haven't been replaced yet, right? They replaced me finish this turn, right? Look at the face down card with blank. If you draw a face down card, it's fine. It's fine, I, I'll take it. It's fine. Draw one face down and accept your decision. <laughs> Don't tell me to accept my decision. <laughs> uh, Jerry, would you mind running that back for me one more time? Jerry, would you mind just running that one more time for me, Jerry? Uh, Jerry, please, if you wouldn't just run that one more time. Uh, Jerry, if you wouldn't just please. Please, one more time. Jerry, Jerry, if you wouldn't just, Jerry, if you wouldn't mind just, Jerry, if you wouldn't just mind just playing one more time. Jerry, Jerry, please just cycle one more time. Okay. I don't see anything. Do you guys see anything? Stop browsing? I mean, yeah, right? We're done. Bean, now it's a dirty floor bean. It's a dirty floor bean. It made it even worse. Dirty floor bean. Here we go. I didn't even need that for a. I didn't even need that for a. No, 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 no.
Welcome back. Good job taking care of your body. Hopefully you took a second to step away. I couldn't even... Okay. And now we continue. I really don't know what's next, to be honest. I think I had to maybe get the kids to go back to... Even though I managed to keep my dojo open, the students couldn't keep up with class and ended up quitting. How can I keep the place open without students? I don't know. I don't know. Strike later, strike soft. Have mercy. I, I, I reckon we'll find out, won't we? So wait, now there's no net cafe? I forgot how many rifts deep we were. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm lost. Okay, yeah, y'all are not gonna be any help. Maybe something changed with him though? Maybe? Yes, something changed. He's more disciplined. <gasps> yes! No! <laughs> Stop trying to be a hero and just enjoy the festival, kiddo. Man, he looked normal! He looked normal! Ah! Ah! Oh, no! No! All right, back in we go. It's gotta be somewhere. The answer's gotta be somewhere. The answer, my friend. All right, bird, flower, praying hand. Maybe, didn't I? I did, I already unlocked it. That was where the cleaning spray was. Somehow I gotta get these kids back in school. They're all reading comic books. There's this guy that likes Karate Boy. And he had three symbols as well. So maybe, maybe there are corresponding symbols. These are elbow, kick, punch. Tell me, can you give me the cipher here, buddy? I really, I just need to know the cipher. Hmm. I just want to know the story. I don't want to do the fetch quests. I don't know where all the students are. All right, sorry, sir. I guess I gotta have you move it again. I don't really know why I'm having you move it, but I don't know what else to do. Want a hint? Let me, let me check this alleyway and then I might need one. Clearly, I'm missing something. In one of the rifts, there's something that I haven't seen. Man, I guess if I'm just totally barking up the wrong tree. I swear I've walked all of them! Hang on, I haven't talked to them whenever they're there. It still says the same thing. Those as the same thing. It's gonna be blocked though.
The, the thing about this game is that it's not challenging. <laughs> and so I know that I can solve it. I'm fully and totally capable. Have I tried walking 500 miles? No, I haven't, in fact. But I feel like I'm getting close. I feel like I'm nearly there. There has to be an end somewhere. I swear I've talked, I've talked to just about everybody. What? Did I go back through? Do you know, sir? Do you all know? Do you know anything? I don't know, sir. I don't know how to get them to stay. Strike later, strike soft, have mercy. I got no clue, Perry. Tell me what, like, what rift universe I need to be in. Am I in current day? Am I in the first rift, the second rift, the third rift? Ah, uh, no, it's still down. And I can't go back through the door whenever I'm there. Ay, yi yi. Is it you, children? Are you the ones? Not already talked to you about it. There's a weird kid down by the riffer. We all know about the weird kid down by the riffer. Back in real time with the cookie people. Let's see all the cookie people. Hello, cookie people. Ah, it is back now. No, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Who I read? Where is this comic book? You have to head to a portal that will give you a second. There's a kid wearing a portal the boy. You have to read the monitor, count the number of times, and elbow. What? I've already done it. I've already done that. I thought I already talked to the comic book guy. I didn't write down all the things. This is the way it's still blocked by a car, right? I can't go get the future back. Is it algorithmic or is it the same every time? I did talk to I've been up there. Yeah, that is the same place. Try again. I'm pretty sure I've talked to the kid. If I talk to the kid again and he doesn't say anything, then I'm just going to get you to give me the answer. Talk to the heartbroken boy and you'll discover that he's feeling weak. He's a karate boy. Karate boy is a knockoff comedy. You can watch the story. You can read two pages. Yes. Yes. I read the two pages, but it won't let me read them again. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know I needed to write them down, and now I can't read them again. I didn't realize they were relevant. So I might just have you give me the answers. Is this this right here? You talk to this guy? You read the pages. It says some kids can't afford it. What is this? Oh, there is a second one. Okay, 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 okay. Especially in chapter 1043. Boom, then pal. It wouldn't be cool I can. Let's see who's talking about. Chapter 1043 isn't really that interesting. Okay. Number of kicks, numbers, of elbows, number of punches. Alright. Two kicks. Two punches, one elbow. Two kicks, two punches, one elbow, one karate chop. Two kicks, two punches, no, wait. Yes, two kicks, two punches, elbow. Next page. 
Four punches? Five punches? Six punches? Okay, so we got eight punches total. One, two, three kicks, five kicks. And one more elbow. My math. Eight punches, five kicks, two elbows. Oh, it's another elbow. Wait, one, two, three, four. That's definitely five punches. What? One, two, three, four, five. It must be. Oh, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna write it in the chat. Write it in the chat. I definitely count five punches. Five punch. On the last page, there's one in the top middle, and there's one on the bottom. One, two. Five punch. One, two, three kick. Yeah, seven total. Oh, did I say eight? I misspoke. And one elbow, two elbows. Two elbow on that page. Go back to the previous page. No! No! On this page, it's one kick, two kick. Well, let's start with punches. Five punches. Yeah. Two punches on this page. Two punch. How many kicks? One kick, two kick. Two kick. One elbow. Seven, five, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, what a miserable puzzle. Seven, five, three. Yes. I was doing it backwards. Okay, three kicks is five. Seven is punch. Okay, give me a gee, please. Can I have a gee? Thank you. Do you want the gee? You shouldn't be naked. Where are your gee, sir? Don the gee. I can be like Karate Boy. You are Karate Boy. And don't let anybody tell you any different. That's right. Rather than joining some bike gang, I should train to be a karate athlete. There's a dojo nearby. I should join. I'll bring all my friends. Sensei, I want to join your jojo. I want to learn under you to fight injustice in this world, just like Karate Boy. <laughs> I see myself in you, young man. Of course you can join. Practice starts today. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Practice day to day. Let's train. Okay. All right. Okay. Now do I go back in this one? Back to the future again? Is this a thriving karate economy now? another step is there another step must we oh yes hey he's grizzled hey you crap it's the goody two-shoes karate teacher again i can't abide people who use their strength to prey on the weak you'll never be me beanpole you're outnumbered no no he's not oh yeah I'll fight you. Did you see that? He phased into his gi, dude. Traitor. 
You backstabbing idiots! Who do you think protected you all this time? You, I know you! Sensei, you taught me how to fight! You taught me how important it is to protect the weak! Like, like Karate Boy! You, my boy! My son! I've abandoned my boy! Fourth time now. You came around, and I will, too. Now, see? Three versus three. A fair deal. There's clearly a fourth person over there. Ready for it yet? Ugh. Against one or three, it doesn't matter. I'll send all you bozos home in body bags. Bugs. What? Oh, don't do that. I, I like using the D-pad. Just give up already. Why bother when you know you can't win? Uh, shut up! You have something to do with Raya? Raya? You won't reach Raya! Man, I liked using the D-pad! Who sent you? Answer me! No one, Brad. I only answer only to myself. Lies. I saw you. Stay focused, kid. Ugh. You won't stop me from getting to Raya. Oh, you fight well, both of you. Yeah, so strong. I'm out of here. Oh, you useless rats! You two, this is our chance. The boss is vulnerable. Let's finish this. Don't let reach Raya. No, it hurts. <laughs> Mommy! Hmm, <laughs> justice has prevailed. <sighs> Sensei! Sensei, are you okay? Did the thugs hurt you? No. Sensei's in poor health. His weak heart. I've been telling you this for years, Sensei. You should take it easy with all this fighting. Any other job would be better for your health, but you insisted on sticking around to teach us karate, putting yourself at risk. Is this another way that I've harmed people with my space diving? <laughs> I've told you a thousand times, kid. I'm fine. This is my calling. To teach resilience and honor. Sensei, you. <laughs> Speaking of, who are you, kid? I don't remember having a student like you. Um, uh, Sensei. I'm just a fan, I guess. You might not remember me in this timeline, but you'll always be my sensei. In this timeline? What are you talking about? You're weird, kid. But you're free to join the dojo if you want. Definitely. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> you have some purpose to fulfill, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. Go forth, son. Do what you need to. The dojo will be here with open arms when you're finished. Thank you, Sensei. Marin, let's hurry. Hama, what's happened? Are you crying? Let's go. Come on. Rise at school, right? Yes. The bike! Future bike! We finally got the future bike. It's here like we like. It's the future bike. Yeah, he did. Take that bike. Woohoo! Future bike. We finally got the future bike. Took longer than we like, but we got that future bike. Yeah! Nice, dude. Can I just give him the bike? Do I have to go back in time? Yo, come on, bubblegum wrappers! Must get them all! You're telling me this guy's so obsessed with bubblegum wrappers that if, if I don't go into his brain and give his brain the bike, it doesn't do the right thing? Alright. A bike for me, really? Yes. Brain bike. Brain bike. You don't need some letter in crap. All you need is this, right? Yes. All I want is for my son to be... My boy! Papa, please don't be sad anymore, Papa. I have what you want. See? A letter in. So please, play with me again. No, I'm sorry, son. I thought I was doing the right thing, but it's okay, Papa. My boy! <laughs> I've done it again! Oh, what's up, Action Ninja? How we doing? Welcome, welcome, Raiders. What's good? What were y'all up to? Power of friendship! How we doing? What's good? 
What's new in the world of XG and Ninja and all the exciting stuff that y'all had going on? We'll turn on some spoofy and hang out for just a minute with everybody. What's good? What's happening, Raiders? What did y'all get done playing? I'm trying to save the music so we don't have to listen to it. Yeah, so we can listen to spoofy. Welcome in. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Ooh. You were playing Breath of the Wild? Dollies, are you talking about my puppets back here? I've got my little puppets and I've got my uh, I got my squishmallows back here. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, do, thanks for that shout out, Perry. And thanks for all the raiders. We're glad that you're here. Welcome to Checkpoint Church, church for nerds, geeks, and gamers here. We stream Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, sometimes Wednesdays and Fridays. It's kind of back and forth. Uh, but we are playing a game right now called um, A Space for the Unbound, which is a super indie, uh, really fetch questy pixel bit game. Super good. Um, I'm enjoying the story a lot. It's very immersed in the mystery. Like I'm, I'm really into the mystery. I want to know all the secrets. Um, but yes, we are a real church. We are a real church plan. I'm a real pastor in the Methodist Church. And we are planted here in Discord is where really all the good stuff happens. So we stream on Twitch a couple days a week, but all the fun stuff happens over in our Discord with our question of the day. And we have a prayer request channel and all sorts of stuff over there for you guys to dive into. And then on Sundays, we post our nerdy sermons. They're like 15 minute like video essays, pretty quick video essays over on our YouTube channel. Um, we actually didn't have one this past Sunday because both my kiddos were sick for all of last week and that was a nightmare. But we're here, we're, we're doing the best we can and uh, we're back in it, um, back after it this week with some fun stuff. So thank you for the follow, I am Tam and Miss Shigatsu. We're glad you're here. And uh, Breath of the Wild really is one of the best games out there. Are you replaying to get ready for Tears of the Kingdom? Is that why you're getting back into it? Or are you just still playing from your original playthrough? I feel like I, I, there's a part of me that wants to go back and start a new playthrough to remember everything. But then there's also like the, I'll just wait. I'll just wait and experience it totally anew. Cause I also don't want to burn myself out on that same play style. Depending on how similar it is, I guess, is the real trick there, you know? But yes, we're glad y'all are here. You're coming at a really weird point in the game. <laughs> we're like nine hours in. But it's fun. It's fun. Kind of, yeah, I've never actually done everything in the game. Well, there's a whole lot to do, including beating Ganon. Well, that's definitely a good thing to get out of the way. So I want to hang out there and get ready for tears. That's very cool. Well, get the big horse. You got to get the big horse and you got to take down uh, you got to take down Ganon. Those are the those are the fun things to do. I'm very curious about the cars that we've seen in Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know why they're deciding to bring in cars, but they are. And so, you know, we're going to deal. We're going to do the best we can and uh, have fun with it. To rock on. Thank you for the raid. I got the DLC, so I want the bike. Yes, get the bike. Get the bike. It's so cool. It's a fun game. It has a lot of fun stuff behind it. I think it is pro I mean, I, I go back and forth. Like Ocarina of Time obviously has the like nostalgia factor for me when it comes to Zelda. So I have a lot of a lot of attachment to Ocarina. But Breath of the Wild is just so good. So good. We also talked about God and studied his word and they prayed with me about my own surgery coming up soon. That's going to be life altering or life ending, but I just got to say God's will be done. Oh my goodness, Dragonheart. Well, I'm so glad that you've been prayed over. Um, are there no Galarian Ponyta here? There are not. We're up to Gen 7. I think we're at Gen 7. Uh, question about tiers. What level of power, hearts, and stamina do you think will start the game with full hearts and master sword back down to three? Do you want my for real theory? My for real theory, okay? My for real theory is that we're going to start the game with all of our upgrades, all of our stuff, and it's going to be us and Zelda, and there's going to be something that's going to go wrong right at the beginning. Zelda's going to die. You heard me. Something's going to happen. She's going to get... Something's going to happen with Zelda. And her spirit, oh no! <laughs> Did you really get an ad at the exact second? Oh no! <laughs> I'll wait for you to come back. I'll wait for you, okay. So my theory is that right at the beginning, Zelda is going to die. We're gonna start out with all of our power-ups, Zelda's gonna die, or we're gonna die, either one of those. And then whenever we do that, the other person's spirit, whoever, whoever dies, spirit will enter into the other person and we'll start over from zero with like a refreshed spirit connection. Kind of like with a Navi situation. So that's my theorem. That's my theorem. You no, know my theory is it's Uber Eats. All right, thank you, Perry. Thank you, Perry, for the gifted sub. Love it. 
Um, but yeah, that's my theory. My theory is that one of the characters, either Zelda or Link, is going to die right at the beginning, and that's how we're going to start from scratch. So rather than making them lose everything, I think they're going to. I think somebody's going to. Somebody's going to die. That's my only explanation. Or he's going to lose his arm or something. Because haven't we seen like, haven't we seen where the arm has been chopped off or something? It's something like that. Bomb cost ten. I had no idea anything costed anything. You guys know so much more about stream avatars than me. I just do it because I like seeing the Pokemon on the bottom of the screen, and I've set up nothing else. Gibbled Arm is definitely part of losing the power, I think. Corruption, something. Maybe Zelda won't die, but she'll be completely corrupted at the beginning, and you'll, like, just barely get away or something. I don't know. That's my theorem, though. That's my theorem. We'll see. I'm super excited. I, I legitimately cannot wait. I think they're holding a lot of things back, and I haven't. I haven't looked at the... Uh, Zelda is the final boss. That'd be real fun. Um, I have not looked at the leaked art book, so I don't know any of the spoilers from there. So keep those spoilers away. I don't want to see them. But that's supposedly the supposedly the art book revealed some stuff that just got leaked recently, and I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm pretty good at sticking away from spoilers. Um, I literally just played Hi-Fi Rush for the first time today, and I somehow avoided any, any. it's not really spoilers, but I haven't seen anybody, anybody playing that game. Switch 2 got leaked too? Didn't know. Didn't know. And honestly, I, I don't think I'm going to believe a Switch 2 until I see it in my hands. Until I see an, an advertisement show up during a Nintendo Direct, I will never believe it. Because it's not, I mean, like, sort of been spoiled, but not really. Because it's like, we've heard about Switch 2 a million times. And I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it until I see it because they've done it. They've been there. They've tried. And people have said, this is this is it. It's happening. And uh, it, it just never does. But maybe. I'm down for it. Um, I would love to see a Switch 2. I would love to see something. Something. Anything. Anything. Spoiled it! That's right. Well, welcome in, XG Ninjas crew. We're glad that you're here. Glad that you're hanging out with us. And uh, we appreciate you. Spoilers, if you play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, you get one free camper paint job. Man, I, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've opened up Pocket Camp. That was early days. Just poured an emulator onto the Steam Deck. I'm also down for that. I've got my Steam Deck, and I love it. So why not? All right. Let's get back into this. So uh, long story short with this game... We are uh, a part of a couple of supernatural beings. One of them, Atma, who we play as, um, has the ability to space dive into people's brains. Think of like Persona 5 palace stuff. We can space dive into people's brains and we can change their personality and their mind in the real time. Uh, and our girlfriend, supposedly, Raya, has the ability to manipulate time and space pretty much infinitely. Uh, at the beginning, we thought that she was good, but now we're beginning to think that maybe this whole thing might be made up by her um, and that there's something going on with her uh, that's that's just bizarre. Um, but I'd recommend playing this game from the beginning and getting the full story. You're probably going to get spoiled if you haven't played it already. Um, there's going to be some things going on here. We really only have a little bit left to stream anyway, so we're not going to go that much further, but... Once again, I want to compliment you on your stream. I release and said, I have a solid, solid job, man. So pleasing. Have a great stream, my man. I'm headed out. Thank you, XG Ninja. Thank you for trusting us with your peeps. Uh, and thanks for all the follows. And thanks for the folks hanging out. Hope you have a good rest of your day. For any of you that do, uh, hop off because I know that's just the raid life. Um, know that we believe three things to be true about you here at Checkpoint Church. Regardless of whether or not you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, hate God, hate the church. Regardless of any of that, we still believe three things to be true about every single one of you watching this. The number one, God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you, and that's what we're doing. That's why we're here. Number three, no matter what, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Okay. With that, we're going to get back into our game here, but I appreciate y'all, and appreciate you being here. And now we got to give him this bike thing. So this is inside one of the brain palaces that I was mentioning. A bike? For me, really? We've already seen this. We gave him the bike. Sun shows up. Papa, please don't be sad anymore, Papa. I'm here. I lurk. Thank you, Tsunami. Appreciate the lurk. I have what you want. See you letter in, so please play with me again. There's a lot of bad dads in this game, I'm noticing. A lot of bad dads. No, I'm sorry, son. I thought I was doing the right thing, but it's okay, Papa. 
Will you teach me how to ride it, please? My boy. Here, you can have this. I don't need it anymore. Nice. I did it. That means I get another peek into the past, right? Who cares about some bubblegum wrapper anyway? I want to go see my son. Huh? The gum wrapper I just got. The end looks a little smudged. It looks like it was drawn with a marker pen. the first time that the trauma dump has got me in this game. Oh, no! That's so sweet. That's so sweet. That just melts my little heart. Are you kidding? Guess it still counts for my bucket list. <laughs> he just wanted to play with his dad. And done. Alright. Another memory. So every time we complete something off of our bucket list that we made at the beginning of the game, uh, we get a memory page from our alternate timeline that I think is the real timeline that Raya is making us forget. Hey, Mr. Co-Writer. Yeah? Help yourself to the rest of the gum, please. What are you doing with all this anyway? Are big black and white words supposed to be covering everything at the center of the screen? I don't see those. Tell me more. Definitely not showing up on my end. I think it might be something on your end. Anybody else in the chat, let me know if you're seeing big black and white work. <sighs> I want a bike. My dad yelled at me when I asked for one. So I figured I'd try to collect all the letters from the Yoman bubblegum contest thing. Maybe I can get a bike without having to bother my dad. No words on my end? Okay, Perry. That's weird, I am Tam. I'm not sure. Not sure. Hmm. I think I saw a bike that someone had thrown out over by the swamp. You want me to go dumpster diving? Use your ears, Missy. I said the swamp, not the dumpster. For some reason, the closed captions are on for me. I've never seen this before. Ah! Anybody know how to turn it off? It should be on the little gear in the bottom right. Yeah, we have closed captions uh, enabled on our streams, trying to make them accessible there. But I don't know why they would have just auto-on for you. That's strange. Same thing. People throw out their trash there. If they're throwing the whole thing out, it's not likely to be in good condition, is it? I mean, who knows if it even works? Exactly, who knows? But we can sure find out. If some parts don't work, we'll scavenge for new ones to replace them with. Hmm. Come on, it'll be fun. Imagine having a bike that you built all by yourself. Well, you and me together. There we go, you got it. Rock on. I'll think about it. Mm, chewing bubblegum all day makes me want to barf. Hey, step it up, get chewing. All it does for me is give my uh, TMJ uh, experience. What was that? My head. Okay. So I got the letters. I'm back in normal time. Time to go to school. We've done the thing. Gotta go see Raya. Confront her. We got the creepy Majora's Mask people. They're fine. Don't worry about them. They're gonna be fine. Thank you, Sensei. I avoid gum. It's Owie, also annoying to autism brain. Interesting. I see, I just, I've always noticed that my jaw just locks up like crazy. But that also used to happen whenever I was a, uh, like, it didn't used to happen whenever I was a kid, so I feel like that's also like an aging thing. <laughs> which, is, which is not fun to say. Because my dad used to always talk about how he couldn't eat certain candies anymore because he was an adult. Oh! This cave of Buell was supposed to bring us untold blessings, but my life has been nothing but misery. That's right. My love life has gone down the drain. I failed my exams. My company went bankrupt. Hey, Cavo, what are you playing at? Hey, answer me, you useless bull. Thanks for the follow, Redeem J. Welcome in. That's the Kibo Bull from the festival. Hey, wait, please don't hurt the bull. She's right. Have you forgotten? You're supposed to treat the bull with the utmost respect during the ritual. Ritual, please. What's the point of a ritual if it doesn't bring prosperity? That's the whole point. That it's not real. Please. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess the bull talks. By the way, this game is set in Indonesia in the 90s. Atma, did you hear that? Yeah, it came from the bull. I beg you. 
Please. They're hurting me. I am going to I'm gonna save this bull. Dad joke, you got it. Alright, let's see what dad joke we got today. Uh, a nurse asks, Doctor, did you take the patient's temperature? The doctor says, no. Is it missing? <laughs> hey, stop hurting the bull or else. Or what, kid? Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, Marin, get behind me. I guess we're fighting again. <laughs> Point. Oh no! Point. Can I tell a dumb joke? Sure. This kid is insane! Run! We saved the ball! Thanks for your help. I'm sorry, but please keep your distance from me. Huh? Can I at least pat you? No. I'm sorry. Humans are just too frightening. I might be able to let you come closer if, if you're in the trust of all the other animals first. So far, out of all the animals you've encountered, you failed to befriend 10 out of the 25 animals. Holy moly, that's so many animals! Did you hear about the guy that sat on Italian food? I did not. Please tell me what happened, Dan. I need to know. I missed, I missed out on being friendly to 10. He got garlic buns. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh, it's the it's the guy. It's Uncle. Festival, the festival's here. Even Uncle Booty. Uncle Booty. Oh, why do you look so normal? Pram, Pram, what happened? Where did you go? It's Nikin. Pram, where are you, Pram? I don't think she can hear me. He's dabbing. Dabbing on the haters. Move your buddy. It's festival time. What happened, Marin? School's just right ahead. Come on. That's the thing. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not sure what will happen at school. We have to be prepared for anything. Are you sure we're ready to proceed? Uh, we don't have time to waste. Let's go. Okay, I'm right behind you. My part Italian work friend scolded me good for that one. That's funny. The school, we're close. We look a little bit like Brock from Pokemon at that angle. Do you feel it? The cosmos. In the air. Like the chill that sets in at twilight. It's somehow different. The air is thick with magic. Something's happening. Raya! Marin, wait! So at the end of- Whoa! Okay. I guess we're stuck. At the end of every section of this game, one of our friends has been exploded, a la um, Rorschach and Dr. Manhattan. And so I'm a little bit worried that Marin's going to get exploded, and I really don't want that, because I like Marin a lot. Oh, and the sky is cracking. Did I mention that? <laughs> I might have mentioned that in my brief uh, five-second overview of this game, but the sky is falling. No big deal. It's going to be fine. It's just the sky breaking into a million pieces. Are we dead? No, we're alive. Ugh. Crap. Raya, Marin! They're still inside. No, no, no! The crash site. They were both right there. Are, are they? No. Please, no! I can't get in this way. The magic wand is reacting. Maybe the explosion created a rift? Get in there quickly. There's no time to waste. Find the rift. The rift! Time to do the rift dance. Team Star. Boom jams. Let's go. So now what, I just gotta find a rift in the school? Wait, what if I found Raya in this timeline? That'd be a lot easier, right? Anyone seen Raya? 
Think she's skipping school. Why are you looking for that freak? Want to join her cult? As if. Lulu's out for blood. Probably gonna actually murder her this time. <laughs> Is that bad? If there's anyone, if there's if there's one person I'd never want to mess with, it's Lulu. Oh, what I'd give to be the fly on the wall when Lulu finally gets her hands on her. How can they talk like that about Raya? It's just horrible. Why do they hate her so much? That aside, I guess I won't find her anywhere around here at the moment. I should find another way. Or another time? Alright. Rift hunting. Time to hunt for some rifts. Woods with the ground inside the classroom. Eric just asked a girl out and it didn't go well. I don't know what Eric saw in that freak. Maybe it's a prank. Now I'm asking Lulu out? That I can believe. I hope he doesn't know. So she can date you, you mean? <laughs> and it's probably less likely than the freak getting crowned prom queen. Harsh much. The wand reacted. Let's do the rift warp again. Time for another rift warp. Yeah. All right, back inside. Next level of the Twilight Zone. Ooh, okay. All right, things don't look great. This must be the current time. The table's been pretty badly vandalized. It's covered in horrible insults. A weird formula. Three minus three N equals negative I. I'm gonna need to write that down. I'm gonna need to write that down. Three minus three N equals negative I. Okay. Oh boy, this game really does keep me on my toes. We can't get in through there. Something going on in the classroom. Ooh, library? Is there another rift in the library? Oh man, high school's almost over. No more hiking club meetings. I know, right? I never even got a girlfriend. Someone I can watch a movie with, snuggled up in a dark room eating candy. That's the whole point of high school. It's the dream, the ideal teen date. My heart is throbbing. Mine too. Let's do it. Huh? Let's watch a movie together. You mean with the rest of the club? No, dummy. Do I really need to say it? A movie date. Just the two of us. Aw. I love them. Property of Nikon? What's up? Perception is weird. I too, though. World Atlas... In the light beer. There's one more there. No. Looks surprisingly interesting. Whoop. Okay. I'm just looking for a rift. I don't want to talk to all you people. Oh! Cutscene. I did it! You did? Where'd you hide it? The back of the cafeteria near the trash cart where it belongs. <laughs> Amazing. That freak will never find her bag back there. She's gonna be like freaking out. <laughs> You're all bad people. You're all bad and you should feel bad too. Where's the cafeteria? Is this the cafeteria? Where? I've not been to the cafeteria before. Where is it? Not there. I feel cold, so I put on a wrap, and then I start hot flashing, r rinse, repeat ad nauseum. Oh, that's awful. I hate that. That is one good thing. My wife is always cold and I am always hot. And so we're we're always like dancing back and forth between temperature gauges. How like it's broken. Where was the cafeteria? I've not been to a cafeteria. Y'all have the same the same uh, temperature disparity here. What was on the wall? Just more of us twinning, continuous. We are uh, we are uh, perpetual twins. Math is like good marks. Let me get you a gold star. Okay, there's nothing, nothing. Good. Waste of my time. My crowbar. Why did you have a crowbar? It's probably just sitting there in the locker in the library. Why do you have a crowbar? Oh, he just asked that. I was gonna raid the vocational school. Okay. 
No big deal. You're just a crowbar user. You just get into fights with crowbars, as is a normal thing. Okay, I get the puzzle now. I get the puzzle. But I still gotta figure out where the cafeteria is. Was that not relevant? Find the cafeteria. So I'm assuming that the solution to the padlock or the the this thing in the library is going to be the three minus three n equals negative one. But I don't know the solution actually. Anybody want to solve that for me? Does anyone want to solve that? Because <laughs> I don't want to solve it. I don't even know how to solve it. I've not been in math in so long. Hi, Bingwen. What's up? Welcome in. I'm gonna. I don't know how to solve this. Perry, do you still have that guide up? Do you wanna? Do you wanna just tell me? I feel like I'm getting lazy on this game. Maybe I just gotta find Mira. Maybe she'll solve it for me. But I'm not about to do math. You don't, sorry. Okay. Well, either way, we only got five minutes left in stream, so we're pretty much good to wrap up. But I guarantee you that's what it is. Oh, wait. Is it five, is it five digits long? Can't find Marin again. Maybe they know. Do you guys know? No. Can't find the cafeteria. Can't find Marin. Unless she went in here. I gotta solve that puzzle. That's the only that's the only answer. What's in the trash? This form again. It's been crumbled up and scribbled on the pen. Yes? No. Student's name. Someone wrote their name on here, but they scrawled over it. Student's name. It's Mary. Or is it Raya? Someone started filling this out, but it's totally legible. Ah! What is this? Ah, another formula? I can't keep doing these formulas. 11 equals 2e plus i. Stop this. Stop this. I don't want any more. I don't want any more formulas. No more math. No more math. I did not come here for maths. Oh, my goodness. Well, surely one of the maths is the solution here. And I, I, I don't have the wherewithal mentally to do it. So we're going to save. We're going to call it a day there. And we're going to go find somebody to raid. Because I can't do it. <laughs> and we'll just remember on Thursday when we kick this game up. Math, I love that. Oh, good. I'm glad that you love that. Then I will, hey, join us on Thursday. And you can tell me all the answers. Because my uh, out-of-school brain... Ain't got no time for it. Maybe it's easier than I think it is, and I just need to actually, like, try. But I've, I've honestly never had a game that's made me do math. Like, for real math. Like, with, with, with variables and all that. Goodness gracious. Well, anyway, folks. 
We are glad that you've chosen to spend some time with us. I appreciate all the XGN Ninja crew that stayed and hung out with us. If you want more of what Checkpoint Church has to offer, like I mentioned, we do stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So we'll be back again on Thursday with another stream. We'll keep playing this game. Um, hopefully finish it. We're really close to the end. So I'm thinking there's a good chance we could finish it on Thursday. After we finish that game, we're gonna start up another one that I've heard about called The Case for the Golden Idol, or The Case of the Golden Idol. And I'm very excited about that game. I've heard it's a really good mystery. Um, and then on Mondays, we always play some kind of Pokemon something. So uh, that's our general like stees that we have here on Twitch. But we also have lots of other stuff going on over on our Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat if you wanna join that, exclamation point YouTube, uh, where we post our nerdy sermons every Sunday, as well as tons of produced content over there. Um, those are our main three platforms we'd love to get to know you better on. Um, we are really a church. I am really a pastor. Um, we are really doing a church plant here online, doing the best that we can. Uh, I'm already seeing that Z Serayu is playing Octopath, and that's definitely who we're going to raid. Because Octopath is like in my top top 25 games at the very least. I'll hydrate for you here, Tam. But yes. We'd love to have you over on our Discord. That's where we're the most active. We ask questions of the day every single day. Uh, we are always having prayer requests. We talk about nerdy stuff. We drop all the news whenever they come out. Um, we got all sorts of stuff going on over there. So our Discord is crazy active. Uh, Twitch is only three days a week. So, you know, that's that's you're missing out on four days worth of good times together. And uh, we'd love to see you over there. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and spam. Closing chat for you. Discord. YouTube. We'd love to catch you on those other platforms or thank you for following. If you did follow today, we'd love to see you around on Thursday, 9 a.m. Eastern. That's whenever we start our streams on Thursday. So pretty easy, pretty early in the morning for, for some of our uh, West coasters, but we have a lot of fun. Let's find Z Sarah, you playing some Octopath. If you've never played Octopath before, so good. So, so good. So we're gonna we're gonna go with that raid uh, here at Checkpoint Church. We believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there, regardless of whether or not you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, hate God, hate church, none of that stuff changes these three things. Number one, we that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you, we want community with you. That's what we're doing here. And number three, really that you, yes, you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, instead of a usual raid message where you just spam raid, if you would do me a favor, and if you would let Sarah Yu's uh, uh, peeps know that they matter. So whenever you followed us, you would have gotten a You Matter emote. If you'll just spam those You Matter emotes in that chat and let them know that they are indeed loved uh, and that they matter and that they are important to God's plan. So with that, and until the next time that I see you, hopefully Thursday or right now over in the Discord, uh, I look forward to seeing you then. All right. Bye-bye.